Something we're not right? No. Where's that put him? It's not very happy. He came in the pit, said something was loose at the front. Oh, uh, right. Completely dead. The whole last 10 minutes it was just like it was going to explode. This seems like it's shafting me. Yeah, I think Saturday the 28th of May, it's 20 past 6 in the morning, Josh and Peter are in front of me with the G on the trailer, we're heading towards Croft Circuit which is further up north, it is in Darlington, it's the first time Josh has driven Croft I believe, it's the first race he's ever driven, it's exciting times this morning but it's also nerve wracking, hopefully there won't be any issues, I'm confident that the car will be reliable, um, it's just get Josh getting used to racing instead of track driving it's a big change obviously so it should be should be a good one thank you to everybody that watched our last last video a tour of the unit and our projects uh, let us know in the comments if there's anything else you want to see if you want to see more of a specific project that we showed you if you wanted more info or you have any, any questions about any of them stick them in the comments we'll get back to you yeah so keep watching should be a should be an interesting day see what happens Cheers. Right, so here we are. Car's all stickered up. Morning, Josh. Morning. Car's all good to go. Looking good with the stickers on. Number 10. Good number. There's the track. Never been here before, so no idea where all the good filming locations are. Sure we'll, uh, sure we'll find out. Got Jake's DC5 here. Next to us. In the pits. What are you doing? I've done like some touch up on the tune. Oh, yeah, last minute. When I was in the hotel. <laughs> off some data logs and the, the graphs. Alright, last minute tweaks. Yeah, because the dyno broke, so I didn't actually get to fully finish it. Mm. Uh, just joining the queue now for the scrutineering. Not allowed to start our engines till nine. Pete needs to exude confidence. Sure, we'll be fine. A couple of other bits in here. Two series, at least. Well, Josh has got to get his suit out and all his bits. Get them checked over. This is what we need. An HCI golf caddy. Just asked us for a windscreen wiper, which we have brought with us, which you didn't put on. We'll get that sorted. Yeah. Right. Think everything's going all right. Just realised Josh has made the change to the splitter. Didn't realise you'd finished that, Josh. Yeah, I did it last night. Not last time, yeah. No, but it's better than it was, isn't it? Yeah. Aired airflow. When we tested it, it was getting a bit hot. It's, uh, it's a Yeah, just, just be careful with the crap and Yeah, we're going to put some of the game. All good? There you go. Put the nuts on. Well done, yeah, cheers. I hope to have to pull your eyes on the line. It did. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, we're expecting you to check, so we'll get them. Kind gentleman has given us that sticker. So that means we're good to go. We just need to find some nuts for our wipers. Should be in Joe's car. Yeah. Thank you, Thank you, 
Cheers, buddy. Thank you. Hopefully you don't have to see me. <laughs> Success. Success. <laughs> uh, Joss is class, they're getting ready to go out now. Cars are ready, we've got Joe doing vlog things, we've got Dan fixing his MR2. Car's ready to go. See how we get on. We're gonna go and film from this corner. What's the plan? Have you got a plan? Go 75% for the first lap and then just keep going until it feels like I've got the groove of it. Yeah. So you follow, you want to follow me to assembly area? Yeah. yeah. We're gonna go and get sound tested now by this fella over here. I guess that means we're okay. Behind a pair of golfs. Josh is getting breath, breath tested randomly. Must be the way he speaks. A bag every now and again these days. I get the non alcoholic ones, the bag. Actually, I'm hoping this is set as crop. I've set it as crop. I'm hoping it just works. But I don't want to do my phone. It fucking fell on the head all the time.
only one, it's getting worse. Just pop the bonnet and check that front left camber out. Huh? Oh, the tyres out, they feel shit. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, right. Something's going on, but I'll just keep going. Yeah, go on, you're alright. first qualifying session done and um, I ain't got the timings on my phone so I can't tell you exactly what he's done um, but I've just seen the chequered flag go so I'm just on my way to see Pete now find out what he managed see what he has to say here's Jake now then Hi. what did he manage 131 now 131 now where's that put him he's not very happy he came in the pit said something was loose at the front all oh, right so I had a check of like what I could see under the bonnet. Yeah. But he didn't park on an angle when he came to the pit, so I think he's going to get all the time. Ah, right. Right, mate. Okay, now, see now then, nice to see you as well. <laughs> Alright, so we'll have to see what Josh says about this then. Didn't sound unusual or anything, did it? He said there's something knocking at the front. Alright. Rubbish. I think you got 31, Josh. Yeah, I saw. Is something not right? No. Is it steering off? I got annoyed with it and just fucking went flat out yeah. and then just nearly understeered straight into the gravel yeah. at the end. How was the rest of the 
yeah. steering wheel's cocked over more, and it's just, it pulls to one side and it's vibrating more. Yeah, if it is, I can just turn it. Is it? I don't know if it's turning the full thing or what. That ain't helping the pain on the face of the wheel. Is there an antenna in that tub? Yeah. Found the culprit? I think so, yeah. I think it's this side, yeah. The other side, that's the other side. Come back and it's just gone that far back, it's in the wheel at. So it doesn't seem overly loose as in literally anti. It's moving, like, I can feel it, but it's hard to put it to the ground. Josh is getting ready for his second race now. Qualifying went all right. There was a few issues. He felt some knocking. There was some quite bad knocking from the front and it was understeering quite bad. So we checked everything. Everything was tight. There was a couple of caster bolts that were a bit loose. Nipped them up. Um, but we think it might be tyres because the tyre pressures were really high. They were like 35 PSI. So we've let them down and brand new tyres, new wheels. Don't know what to expect, so we'll see. On the seventh row, on the inside will be number 10, Josh Lawton. And number uh, 29, who starts 18, he has a 15 second pit stop penalty, 101, Matthew's grid. Absolutely, you've got the big sort of hulking BMWs, you've got the... Uh B wins first and second respectively, and then third overall was uh, John Monday. Uh, out, the race gets underway for 45 minutes. Down. One's gone really wide though, out, out of tower. And uh, I think this is the car for the Bitchway in Boston, I suspect. Yeah. <laughs>
say Whoa, out is what's gone? Spud and lucky not to take anybody else with him. That's the uh, 211 car. That's Giles. Not sure what that's about. Yeah, so, uh, and the key thing there is very lucky not to collect anyone else. It wasn't too far circuit, and that's possibly what Rob Boston was uh, gesticulating at. So we're going to come through to complete lap to Cole Drought, who is driving solo, although it does show that she sh she's sharing that car, not easy for me to say, with Daniel Jude. It's just the, the Irish lady for the GT class, not the 240 brake horse Palpatine class C, the Super Sport class, up to 180 in class D, the Sport class up to 145 and this of course is for production sports and saloon cars road sports was revived find the the tow eye at that point is difficult yes. drivers on leads in class d uh, quite into the fact that he's the only driver here from class d this weekend so the driver's going to come through to complete the croft circuit this is the Tagiwa road sports series race a 45 minute race with a mandatory <laughs> Hopefully, unleashed. As the safety car loops into the pit lane, so it's uh, the uh, car controlling the place. Is Andy Martin? He sees the green. Safety cars come in. Andy Marston at the moment. Two of them are side by side. That's uh, Bidgeway and Stacey. It looks like Bidgeway on the outside line. Stacey with her. And then Johnny Weston Taylor is next up ahead of. Yeah, the 
about to go. The pit lane window is seven seconds away from being open. <laughs> Safety car again, another yellow flag, so we're assuming everyone's going to pit now. Session's being red flagged. I think they've got to get that mini off the track. Some of them, the ones that hit it first have got out, but 
Why am I getting mugged off and burned in the pits when it's fucking on the floor? Like, surely they have to restart that, like a grid yeah, or at the time of the red flag. Yeah, right? that's oh. how they do it in mine. It could be the lap before. You know, that's complete lap right. Well, that might work out better before the red, if they do it the lap before the red flag, because I was like second place. Do you know what I mean? And then it'll work out fucking right. sick. Have you any idea what goes on now? Surely we need to restart from a rolling start from the position before yeah. the red flag. Yeah. But then that's unfair on the other guys, but... You know what? They're not sure what they're going to do for I mean. the restart. They don't know. Figuring it out. Jonathan Lewis says his, um, his brother Chris, who was uh, another prolific racer with the 750 car play, was based just up the road in Middleton Times, so yes. for a, a long while. That's the uh, Josh Lawton, uh, number 10 uh, Honda Civic, that was running very strongly before the uh, red flags came out, before the pit stops. So they've paused the clock for the race, which is good. We've got 24 minutes still left. Players might be a bit squishy when you go back out, Josh.
Jamie sounds like he's on a go slow, so maybe something's wrong. Sammy Bowler, Jake Fraser Burns, Josh Lawton, Mike Edwards, and Hugo Holmes. Anyone a body language expert here? Yeah. Drive shaft died. I was nursing it for the last 10 minutes, so I was just praying to get to the end. I don't know where we finished with all that fucking mess up in the pit. So, and they said they did say as well uh, before I went out if it was go there was restarting off the positions of the lap before the red flag and we was on the lap before the red flag yeah. while they was in so we jumped up but I was expecting for us to maybe get on the podium just from that yeah. cock up but we drove past oh, but I was just I was trying to get today it was the longest 10 minutes of my life I was like, I didn't want to hold you up, but I was like, but if we're on the road, no, no, you've got to race your own race. No, so, but I was like, it might break anyway. So I was like, I was, well, I'll flag you past because I was way slower, and just because yeah. all the time he was behind me, I was just sort of just like praying to God, yeah. Keeping it going. Because it's the front left. Is that one? Completely dead. The whole last ten minutes it was just like it was going to explode. You know, yeah. deceleration, I thought it was just going to... for that. Really? Yeah, I was very, ca like, <laughs> cautious. So it right at the end though. Yeah, yeah, I was like, but I thought she did it. Because I think we should have still done well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you would have done. Well, no, I mean, be... even now, because of all that... Showing his 18th, but they started... Yeah, the start we need to, make, the they again. need to sort it out. So, so that rate, you know, the young kids... Yeah. ...said that they'll do, like, uh, because we we'll wear, we should wear cold jeans. Right? That other guy told us that the pit window would stay closed for five minutes. Yeah. Then, uh, but that's all right, right Mishma. Like I said, I think we played it right. Yeah, I think we might have done all right over there. Oh, that was the longest ten minutes ever. Yeah. Honestly. I know. I kept looking at it. Could you tell? Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, like, I didn't know what it was. I thought it maybe got off. I could start smelling CV grease. I was like, oh, we don't set on fire off. And I was like, I was going to fuck it in the pits. So, like, I don't want to ruin everyone's race. But I was like, fuck it. I've sat through two yellow flags already. So, and then Jake was catching me. And I was like, I didn't want to drive faster to stay in front in case it broke. So, no, no, but, on, like I say, it, was, it wasn't so much you, it was more I didn't want to push myself yeah. to make the car break. What happened in your race, Josh? 
So it was going good. I think we got up to 8th on the road. The highest position was 7th. And then, as while we was in the pits, we just finished pits off, it went great. And then they red flagged the race and they just told us to stop. And obviously now these guys are now out on the road. And then we was like, well, what happens now? Because we was trapped in the pits, like we couldn't carry on like the other guys did. And then they said that he was going to start from the lap before the red flag, which was us in first and second. Yeah. So like... From second to third, fourth. Oh, yeah, yeah. What messed up pit situation? So, but at first it showed you were 24, and then jumped to 34, so there was like... Yeah. So... Some discrepancies. And then... We reset the timer, it was reset at 20 minutes, it did it decide on in yeah, the end? 20, like, 20 minutes, last 20 minutes. And so I was going for 10 minutes, going well. I think I... 11 car jumps, okay, I think, in that. Yeah, I made up yeah. a lot of places, and then 10 minutes from the... I think it was 10 or 9 minutes from the end, the, just the vibration that I felt earlier on in Cully was just back, but really bad, like just something had happened. And I was certain it was drive shaft. And then sort of three minutes after that, I could smell like between me grease a lot. And after that, it was just nice to I was going to pull in. I just had to cruise around. I mean, I was cruising around at all pace, but... But you weren't about, I think you lost two places. Yeah, like, I had a big gap because they were all way at town. Yeah. And Jake was catching me. I could see, well, I slowly eased off the pace, basically. And then by that point, Jake was right behind me. And we know Jake, and I, I didn't want to ruin his race too much. At all, push myself yeah. to break the car. So I was like, a workout better for everyone if I just let him pass and I nurse it to the end. Yeah. And then did an Elise Cup? Uh, yeah. That Elise, that was supposedly first on the road because they pulled him up in it first. Because yeah. I was expected to get waved onto the podium after everything. Yeah, yeah. And they flagged us past, so I was like, whatever. But because the leaders was catching me. That's yeah, yeah. It. So I, when I, after I'd seen the last lap board, the last quarter of the lap, I just drove like normal yeah. because I didn't want them to catch yeah. me. And then if I was, you know, yeah, high yeah. up on the road, sort of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was but yeah, all a bit a of a mess of, uh, up. Discrepancies there. Yeah. There were discrepancies about how the pit lane reopened after the restart. There's a lot of confusion. Like I said, I don't, bother, I don't want to come second, third, first just from a discrepancy like that anyway. But yeah. I'm happy to win. Yeah. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I'll constantly be happy to win. I mean, <laughs> To have made it to the end, so. yeah, that's the most important thing. I would do some good, yeah, I did some good, good overtakes. Battles, good overtakes. Sure, we can keep up, yeah, definitely. So, the the mistake was we went out in quality with brand new tyres not scrubbed in or anything, and we was we was up there to consider it, but the tyres just wasn't working at all, yeah. Uh, and then it come apparent in the race once he had a heat cycle for him, it was really good. Yeah, so that's, so, that's learning care. So in it? the future, we don't go out on brand new tyres. Yeah, so quality. I knew that they would be worse, but I didn't realise it would be that bad. Yeah, I thought they could see it, I thought yeah. through the session. You'd think. Yeah. But they needed to cool off and then go again. Yeah. So we was off the pace there. I mean, any other year, we'd have probably been a, you know, a bit higher up. But, like I say, everyone, same again, like time attack. Everyone's picked it up, which is yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. So, what's the plan? Are you going to look into this tonight, or are you not going to bother? No, no, I'm trailer, forget about it until next yeah. week. All right. So these guys are, well, you two are staying overnight out here to watch Dan. Yeah, we've got Dan tomorrow and the Jura. Yeah. They're all the fancy boys. Yeah. Um, but I can't be here for that, so this will be the end of our video. Um, just as the next race is starting, so that's good timing. So, yeah. Congratulations, well done. The first race finishes. One piece, no contact. Right, well done, Pete, for supervising. Well done, <laughs> for managing. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next time.